almost weekly. He was told that he needed to come, but he waited two days before he left. How dare he? They needed him, and he stayed away on purpose. On purpose. So when word reaches Martha that Jesus is finally coming, she goes out to meet him. Now the next verse in the scriptures, we have a tendency to read it pretty piously with no inflection. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. (laughs) Come on, this is a woman whose brother is dead and Jesus could have stopped Lazarus from dying, but he didn't. Actually, I would guess that when Martha comes to Jesus, she gets up close, uncomfortably close, with tears rolling down her dusty cheeks as she pounds on Jesus' chest with their fists in anguish and cries out, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. If you haven't stood with Martha here yet, you will. You'll be right there with her, beating on Jesus, demanding he give an answer to why he didn't answer your prayer your way on your timetable and just plain didn't bother to show up when you needed him most. But Martha wasn't done speaking, and neither can you. See, the very next words out of her her mouth, perhaps even as she is wiping the tears from her face as she speaks, are faith. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. When everything else has been stripped away, when death has sunk its ugly fangs in, when sin has done its worst, when there's no place to turn in all of creation, Jesus. Jesus is the only place that Martha and you and I can turn. Now first notice that Jesus takes this. He accepts her anger, her frustration, everything that Martha is dishing out on and to him. See, Jesus is big enough to take whatever he might try and throw at him. And then second, and even more important, notice how Jesus loves Martha and you. Jesus offers up no excuse or apologize. He speaks comfort and truth. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Not, I will be. Not, I might be. Not, I could be. I am the resurrection and life of believers. Death is done, defeated, finished, ended because of Jesus for you. His death on the cross is paid the price of your sin, the price of all sin. And where sin is forgiven, the penalty of death is gone. Because Jesus showed up in body and blood to die for you, Jesus just doesn't give you hope that one day maybe this world will be better, that this is all there is. He gives you himself. He who is your resurrection. He who is your life. Jesus for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.